So let's talk about Docker and KDE Neon and running a KDE application inside of a Docker container. Running KDE Neon inside of a Docker container gives you the ability to sort of test the core KDE applications without actually installing KDE or any dependencies on your system. Everything is contained within a virtual file system inside the Docker container. The KDE Neon Docker image actually uses Zephyr to serve up a super lightweight X session. What's super cool about this is you can run KDE Neon inside of a Docker container on any distro in any desktop environment. So to get started with KDE Neon and Docker, you'll obviously need to install Docker, but also X server Zephyr. Now installing Zephyr is pretty straightforward, but Docker can be a bit temperamental and it actually varies between distribution and distribution. Either way, you'll need to follow your distribution's instructions for installing and setting up Docker, which usually includes creating a group for Docker and adding yourself to that group. Zephyr is cool because it doesn't require any configuration or anything, it usually just works. Once you've got the prerequisites done, you'll use Docker to pull down the KDE Neon Plasma image. Now the KDE website actually has a page for running KDE Neon inside of Docker. The instructions will have you install Ruby and install a Docker API gem and pull down a Ruby file to run the whole thing. I actually haven't had any luck with this method and I'm curious if you guys are able to get it to work. When I try to run Docker through this Ruby script, it acts as if it can't find my monitor or my video card. I'm not really sure what it's saying. I don't really know enough about it to debug it, so I just went to the GitHub and followed the instructions there. The directions from GitHub will have you run the KDE Neon Docker image directly and specify an application at the end of the command. In this case, we're gonna be using Dolphin. Now notice that my desktop theme is dark, but the dolphin that spawned out of the container is light. Applications that come out of the Docker container are not going to inherit anything from the host desktop. That also means that you can't run applications or open files from the host in the guest. So even though we have two Dolphin file managers here, they can't talk to each other. Also notice that the instance of Dolphin running from within the container has its own file system. Every application running from within the Docker container is sandboxed in such a way that it cannot access the file system from the host. It can access system resources like CPU and RAM, but it cannot directly access the file system. So you might be wondering if you can't open a text document on your host system with a instance of Kate running from within Docker, then what exactly is the point of running KDE applications within Docker? Well, the primary use case is development and testing, and I don't mean user testing, I mean a developer testing their changes from within a container. Remember in the video I did a while back, I talked about the circular dependencies that the KDE project tends to have. When you have so many dependencies like that, sometimes it can be difficult to develop a change and test a change without actually affecting a bunch of other stuff on your system. Now you could do this inside of a VM, but it just makes a whole hell of a lot more sense to do it inside of a container because this is a pretty good use case for a container, honestly. The instance of KDE Neon running inside of Docker is completely sandboxed, so you can change the entire system or break the entire system, but that's fine. Go ahead and tear the container down and spin a new one up. So I think that's going to wrap this video up. Remember that running KDE Neon inside of a Docker container is not meant for end user use, so hopefully people won't be upset because they can't really do anything with the KDE applications inside of there. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching.